Hello there and happy International Scrapbook Day! Uh, my name is Ansika and I am going to be creating a layout with you to celebrate this absolutely fabulous day with scrapbook.com. Now I'm using several products on scrapbook.com, inks, dyes and the fabulous new pops of colour and all of the other stuff. So I'm going to start by choosing three of these slimline dies. I mean these fit perfectly for a slimline card but I thought why not use them on a layout. I love dies so when I figure out a way to use them for more than one kind of project I am absolutely thrilled. So I'm using three different kinds of specialty cardstock. Uh, one of these is a satin mirror cardstock from Novo and the other ones are glitter paper. And what the best thing about these dies, they cut beautifully and even on glitter paper, which is amazing. Now I am using the mint tape to uh, tape these three ones together, mainly just to help me when I die cut so they don't go all over the place and I end up making a huge mess which I sometimes do. Shocker! Now I'm just cutting the papers down to size so that I have an easier way of die cutting them. And here they are all done and I use the uh, magic mat as well because that just makes die cutting so dreamy. Now for the background I wanted a well, dotted background so I used the uh, dotted stencil from scrapper.com along with two inks. I'm using a very light blue and then a darker tealish blue kind. And I already cut down the uh, car stock that I'm using down to 9 by 12 so that it, so that it fits the uh, new albums from scrapper.com. And I love this size. I used to do a lot of scrapbooking for using 12 by 12 but I have wanted to be a wee bit smaller and the 9 by 12 are absolutely perfect. At least they work for me. Love it. Now I'm just creating the background and I am placing ink on my ink blender and sometimes I'm heavy handed, sometimes I'm light handed so that I could get quite the variation of the same colour. And now I'm offsetting the stencil a little bit. No rhyme or reason, just wanting to yeah, offset it, I guess. <laughs> and it's really handy having that mint tape in the corner and that just helps with the uh, keeping the stencil in its place. And now this is the darker one I'm just adding here and there. And then I'll be moving the stencil yet again. And since I've already decided that I want to be uh, placing my photo in the lower section of the layout, I am making sure that I get a bit of you know, flow of dots, or so to speak. <laughs> and now that I've finished with the blue, I am going to add foam tape to the back of my photo. Now I'm using the 2 inch foam tape and I'm just adding it to the back because I really want the photo to be a bit more dimensional. And that's ready and put it to the side and then I wanted to add a bit of gold. So I'm using Nuvo Gold Mist or Mica Mist and because I wanted the drops to be really tiny and delicate I squirted it on my glass mats and then I just took a small pencil and now I'm just adding those splatters via the brush and that just keep, makes it easier for me to keep them tiny and delicate and that's about it Now I'm just gathering all the strips and figuring out how I wanted them to be stacked in a way. And now I'm just adding them here and there, seeing how they look. I'm sorry I'm a bit off camera, but 
this is just me placing them here and there and figuring out like stacking but I don't want them to be too uh, what's the word regular not sure but I'm trying to make them offset a wee bit and making sure that I have different colours and yeah just having fun really and I'm happy with how it looks I again reach for my mint tape to keep them all together and make sure that if you are using mint tape for things like I'm doing now make sure to keep them because you can reuse them for die cutting and what am I. This stick lasts way longer than you expect. Now I just pick them up and I decided to uh, reach for the uh, my Tim Holtz mini stapler just to make sure that the ones that they are really sticking together and I decided to place the stapler where I know that the photo would cover it so no biggie and next step I'm using the smart glue to add adhesive to the strips I think I managed to add adhesive to each and every strip I think so and I'm just being very light-handed with the uh, adhesive it is really runny so make sure that you are having light hand because otherwise you might get a bit too much of a glue now I'm just placing it down pressing it and then I decided to put something heavy on top and leave it up for a little bit to make sure nothing would be going anywhere I'm just adding my photo to the uh, layout itself and I realized that the app uh, I needed a bit more foam to it because it would be a bit squished I guess is the word so in order to fix that I reached for the uh, 1 8 foam strips and I just placed them behind the photo and that way my photo will not be as squished at the top as I feared so you, ne you can never have too much foam tape I tell you now all I have to add is the title and then for the spot yes now I am using stickers from my stash I have a thing for alpha stickers and thickers especially so these have been in my drawer for quite some time so most likely they are unavailable but I will link to similar alpha thickers that are available over at scrapbook.com now I'm just using the uh, ruler to uh, place my alphas while I'm thinking of a title I like to use this method because well if I stick them straight on the page I might change my mind and then I will ruin everything and well this just saves me a whole lot of trouble so I'm just figuring out what the title should be placing the alphas on the ruler and then it is just figuring out where to place the title so I decided on keeping the title in two different places and by doing that I'm able to use it as a decorative element as well as well the basic title and I love mixing and matching different kind of alpha stickers I rarely use just one sticker sheet I like mixing and matching it's just fun I like color sorry my heck is in the way there but I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting this well straight ish I'm not being too precise I'm just ishing is the word Now I added a wee bit of journaling on a little sticker 
and I realized that I needed some more black on the layout because well, I have half the title in black. So I used the uh, Distress Oxide and missed it a wee bit via the paintbrush as well. Now it is the Pops of Color section. Now I'm using these Pops of Color to create like pearls, I guess. I'm using three different colors, trying to match the uh, car stop that I use in the background. And take note, I haven't used, this, used the uh, dark one before, so make sure that before you start squirting, that you take the little red thing inside. And I basically squeeze with a very light hand and then while I'm swirling, I'm releasing the pressure at the same time. So I squeeze gently, release and swirl at the same time. That way I get them as round as possible. Of course, they're not perfectly round because this is, is liquid in a way. But I really do like this, the result and they are oh so shiny and pretty. And there are so many colors to choose from. I mean, these are just absolutely amazing. And that is the layout done, really. Thank you so much for stopping by and make sure to check out the uh, scrap.com store because there are loads of absolutely yummy goodies and great offers. So thank you so much and see you later. Happy International Scrapping Day!